everybody. In this video, we're going to take a look at connecting an Android device to the Audio 4C from iConnectivity. Now, if you're looking at getting into mobile music production, uh, recording, live streaming with your Android device, then the Audio 4C is the perfect solution. So first, let's talk about how to connect it to our device. So I've got my Audio 4C connected here. Uh, it's already powered up and I'm using uh, device port 1. If you haven't seen this before, it has two uh, connection ports here. I'm using device port one uh, to connect to my computer. And I've already connected to my computer using the included USB-C to C cable. Uh, if your computer does not use USB-C, but uses USB-A, you can use this free adapter that comes with the device to connect it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get my Android device connected to, uh, to the 4C. So here's my tablet. I've got a, another USB-C cable, and I'm going to connect this to port 2. Okay, so that's connected there. And then I'm going to connect the other end to my Android tablet. Great. Now, one of the nice things when you use a Android device with this interface, you probably saw that pop up, is that it is going to charge your device. This is a really nice feature that allows you to use one cable to, again, connect to your device as well as charge your device at the same time. So now that I've got this connected, I just have to do one setting over in Oracle for X-Series, which is the free control software that comes with this interface in order to uh, decide how I want to use this with my device. So um, let's go over to my Mac Mini, which is running again Oracle for X-Series. I'm gonna click the audio tab here. And there's a few different settings depending on how you want to use this device that might be worth looking at. If you're using this primarily for recording, then you can click the record tab. Uh, and you can pull up uh, microphones, uh, line level inputs like a guitar. If you're using it to play back from uh, your Android device, maybe for tracks or stems, then you could choose play USB one if that's how your device is connected. But most often you're gonna be connected using USB two. So if I'm using this for tracks, I would select that. Uh, if I'm live streaming, then I would select this stream setting here which allows me to define um, what the mix is that goes into my device. So for instance, I could go to USB 2, which is the port on our um, interface that we're connected to. And I could say, you know what, I want a little bit of USB 1. I don't want any of USB 2 in there. Uh, I want a little bit of the mic and a little bit of this mic. And so I can create a perfect mix just for me. In addition to that, I can create mixes and send them out of analog outputs 1 and 2, 3 and 4, and then also my headphone output at the same time. So there's so much more we can do with this, but in this video, we just took a look at how to connect our Android device to our 4C, uh, audio 4C from iConnectivity. Again, one of the best parts of this is it's one cable and it powers our device at the same time. And it allows for music production, live streaming, and allows us to increase the quality of doing all those things on our Android device. Now, if you have any questions outside of the scope of this video, anything I didn't cover, make sure to reach out to the iConnectivity support team. Uh, they would love to hear from you, love to help you get up and running. We've included their information in the description of this video as well. Take care, everybody. Bye.